Hello everybody from the Young Riders Academy. Today we're going to show you how to practice the water. First of all, I would like to tell you what kind of problems most of the time is coming with the water. Are the riders not riding correct to the water? That the distance is not correct? That they're just chasing to the fence? What makes actually a bad jump after? Or the other part is that the horse, what is very important there, that the horse on one side that they have the confidence to be sure that they are safe on the water, and the other part is that the horse has enough respect for the water. A lot of times I see that the shape over the water is not correct and that's why I want to show you some, ex uh, some exercises how to improve this uh, to get a better shape on the water. Because this we do on all fences, we should do the same on the water. So now we're going to see Laura with a young horse. We have the problem all the time that the young horses, first of all, are a little bit skeptic. That's why it's good to practice. And here you can see that the horse tried to stay away of the water jump and not really going correct to the water. We practiced this a few times, there is already getting a little bit better. And that's why it's necessary, now it's coming there. Now you see that the horse by himself is making the jump already wider. And then the next step is that we make the oxer or the, the, the pole over the water a little bit wider and a little bit higher to get more, you know, that the horse trusts himself more. So he will develop himself and not that we have to push a lot. Uh, and that is the, of course, the importance is the horse trusts you, that the horse has confidence there. And then, you know, you could see the legs were not even there and that the next time that's okay, what is improving then. And by the time, the more safe she feels, the better the jump will be. And that's actually what we want. Here we try already with some distance. Huh? Wait that the horse is taking you to the water, then follow to the water, and then you will see the jump is getting nicer and nicer. We do this one more time a little bit higher. Important is that the horse is waiting correct, that you're not just pushed to the water, that the impulsion is at the last ride, after the fence that the horse is getting under control again, and then she makes a very nice jump. We do once again. Just a little bit from another option. And then we see, focus the horse. Technique is good. The gallop is staying correct. He's waiting again. Perfect. Now we're gonna do the water once without the pole to see how much confidence the horse has. And you could see after practices a few times, the confidence is there. And like this, you can go to the show because you know how the horse will react when you go to the water. And I think that's the most important for us. Now we're going to show you some pictures how the fence could look like. Very impressive and very big. It needs a lot of uh, understanding and that the horse is brave enough that he trusts himself to do this. For the rider as well to get there with a correct distance. Of course, it's important that we have a safety cup or a flat cup that the fence could fall easy down. It's important as well that we have uh, enough, we cannot start with this height, you have to build this up. I think this is very important for both for rider and horse. Here is Michael G. Duffy with the horse, he is doing the same. You know that first of all the horse is staying a little bit back and not really going forward on the fence. On the water the only thing we need the height but as well that the horse is feeling safe to go forward. Here Sven Holmberg is watching, taking care of us. And now we will try to do it again. Even for this horse is a little bit older as the horse from Laura so we could make the fence a little bit higher and a little bit wider as well. And you can see the more the horse start to push from behind the better the jump will be. The hind is getting better, so it's even a good exercise sometimes for uh, to making the impulsion in the correct way. The horse has to wait. It's a simple fence. The horse needs to take off and then have the right impulsion to go forward. Good. Looking better and better. Now we have to have the higher fence once more. And see, the more the horse is taking there, the safer the whole thing will be. And that I think is the most important for the rider, that you have a safe feeling for that. Once again with the line, you have the vertical and then the water. Important is after the vertical as well, that you are able to wait. Eh? Perfect jump like that. Now we have the vertical. He can look to the water, wait at the horses, take the distance, impulsion, wait again and make the next fence. Very good. 
There is little things you still can improve, but that's the way when we work and we train, when we have nothing to improve, we could stop riding. Now we won, uh, we're gonna see that uh, Michael will do this line once more, just in a slow motion, take time for everything, look how the fence looks like, his position is good, he's waiting, the water is coming, the horse is looking, he's taking him there, so the impulsion to take off, after the water to control it again, wait that the fence is coming to you, not that the horse is rushing into the jump, we get a very nice jump here, it takes time, good. And after this, it's very nice that I had two riders with Laura and with Michael. I could train easy, I could show you these nice pictures and I hope you will enjoy and have a good training with that.